trans women don't need to tell men they used to be a boy, just like they don't need to tell men they used to be a baby. Disagree? You're transphobic. You can't be holding this back from them. Take it from me. Share it with them. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on a topic that is actually extremely important. Like, and it can be life and death for some people. Recently, beauty guru, YouTuber, Nikki Tutorials came out as transgender to the shock of the world. This video went incredibly viral. I think it has like 20 million views. And if you don't know why, there are a couple reasons why everyone is shocked. And the first is that Nikki has been on YouTube for about a decade. I personally am not super plugged into beauty YouTube like that, but I have seen her around and I would have never in a million years thought she was trans. I guess she transitioned very young. So I mean, first of all, I think that that is amazing. I think Nikki's awesome. I think that this is the type of story that I like to see when it comes to trans people, people who you know, live their lives and mind their business and are successful and are trans and that's about it. Bravo. One of the things that she brought up that she found difficult was at times throughout her life telling people in her life that she was trans, revealing it to them. And she included her fiance in that, which a lot of people had a lot of opinions about. So it's unclear if they were engaged or not before Nikki came out as trans to her fiance. But what she did say was that they were in a relationship for a minute and he didn't know. And I really do not know the personal details of Nikki and her personal life and her relationship. So it really isn't about Nikki. This is just about a bigger conversation that I feel like is very important. Um, but I saw a post on Instagram. Trans women don't need to tell men they used to be a boy, just like they don't need to tell men they used to be a baby. Disagree? You're transphobic. So I have a personal story to share with you guys, as well as just my general opinion on this. My opinion is you absolutely need to tell your date that you are transgender before dating them, and especially banging. <laughs> and honestly, even if you're one of those people who thinks that your date doesn't have a right to know, or the person you're with doesn't have a right to know, which I personally believe is deceptive as hell, and I feel like relationships are built on honesty and trust, but even if you don't really respect your partner in that sense, maybe respect yourself a little bit and, you know, prioritize your personal safety. There's been far too many trans women and trans people in general, I guess, who, you know, although we only really hear about it with trans women, I, I don't know, uh, who have experienced violence or worse at the hands of people who are tricked when being physical with them or, you know, involve themselves in a relationship and then find out later. You know, it's something that really does happen and you're putting yourself in a great danger at a great risk by doing that and you know it's something that for some reason on youtube there is this tag which maybe i'll title my video the tag as well just you know to be on topic of the he didn't know i was trans tag like there's literally so many trans women in particular on youtube who make videos with that title and talk about their stories of like dating or sleeping with men or somewhere in between without them knowing their trans status and that is a horrible example for the many young trans people who are watching these videos who are going to go forward and get themselves into horrible situations based upon the information and, and the story times told by these people and again i'm not putting that on nikki at all because one thing nikki actually said in the video Video, which I thought was very important, a very positive message, was this. You have to tell the person that you love at some point. It's what they deserve. It's what they need. You can't be holding this back from them. Take it from me. Share it with them. The sooner, the better. Of course, wait until you know that you're in good hands, in safe hands, but the sooner, the better. And I completely agree with that sentiment, whether or not she did follow it with her fiance or whatever. Now, I personally, hi, I'm trans, I never had the opportunity to really date as a trans person and experience the whole, do I tell him on the first date, the second date, or before, you know, getting physical or whatever, because as long as I've transitioned, I've been on YouTube and online and just been very public and one Google search spills all my beans, honey. But it is far too easy in this day and age of online dating and texting and being able to communicate without being in the same room to let a man know before you go on a date, hi. I'm trans. Are you okay with that? Great. Are you not? That's fine too, but let's cut it quits now. Because first of all, why would you even want to be with someone who that's a deal breaker for them in the first place? And I feel like you should want to weed out the people who don't want to date you because of that anyway, right? 
So I want to tell you guys about this thing called the LGBT panic defense. And people refer to it mostly as the trans panic defense. That's mostly where it's used. And what that is, is it's a legal strategy that asks a jury to find that a victim's sexual orientation or gender identity slash expression is to blame for a defendant's violent reaction, including murder. So basically, there have been a lot of incidents in which a trans woman maybe sleeps with someone or goes on a date with someone, does not tell them they're trans, they get beaten up or worse, and the defense used by the person who beat them up or worse is this panic defense to me that is not a morally just argument to say they tricked me therefore like i killed them like chill hold on someone facetime me hi do you want to say hi to my youtube channel i'm filming right now oh jc says hi everyone <laughs> okay i'll see you soon okay bye babe all right bye so I know a lot of people are going to comment, you're blaming the victim. Absolutely not. I actually care about the victims. So what I'm saying is prioritize your own personal safety if you are in that situation and just care about yourself. Even if you don't care about them, like I said, care about yourself. Now in the media, I know we're used to the caricature of the like very obvious trans person, the trans woman who looks nothing like a woman, etc. But I have met personally a ton of trans women in my life who you wouldn't really know by looking at them or by talking to them or sometimes even by sleeping with them if they've had all the right surgeries, that they are trans. And this is something, the whole tricking men, um, it's called uh, stunting, that's what it's called in the community. <laughs> and it is very toxic that it even has a label like that. All right, so story time. So this is someone I actually grew up with, someone I was best friends with for many years. And crazily enough, we both transitioned, like, and at the same time, like, you can't make this stuff up. Was it something in the water? Like. I don't know. So this person, um, I don't want to put it in a way that's super mean, but most people by looking at her knew something was up, if you know what I'm saying. Like she was one of those people that would go down the street and people would stare a lot and sometimes people would say things and ask if she was a dude and blah, blah, blah. But she would also have these scandalous hookups online and we lived together at the time and so we were roommates and I would see all the guys coming in and, and not coming in and so one night she came into my room and announced that she had a hookup coming which good roommate etiquette by the way I mean I really don't mess with roommates anymore I would never again have a roommate and luckily I don't really feel like I ever have to again good roommate etiquette let your roommates know if you're gonna be banging in the apartment okay so she let me know she had a guy coming over and then she was like but you don't understand. Like, he doesn't even know that I'm trans. I'm a little nervous about it, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, um. even back then in my early transition days, I knew that was just a bad idea. I told her it was dangerous. I was like, you're going to get yourself hurt. You're going to get maybe me hurt. Like, there's going to be someone going crazy if they find out in this apartment. And that's probably not the smartest thing. Like, please don't do that. Well, she didn't listen. Otherwise, this wouldn't be a story time if she listened, right? So they actually did hook up, and unfortunately, I could hear quite a bit of it because, you know, thin walls, apartment living, whatever. Uh, <laughs> everything was quiet for a few hours, and honestly, I thought he went home. And then all of a sudden, hours after this hookup, I hear all this screaming and yelling and shouting and just general commotion and, like, stomping or just sounds like commotion coming from upstairs. And I'm like, um what's that? So I'm pretty freaked out about this and me and my other roommate, there was three roommates in total living there, came out of our rooms instantly and then we went upstairs to see what the hell was going on. This guy was drunk, he was freaking out, he was throwing things off of dressers, he was just upset, like shook. And he was super belligerent but the gist of what he was shouting equated to everything you probably would assume, like I'm not gay, why'd you do this? I'm, you're a man, blah blah blah. Like it was a lot and it was very very heated and my friend was just screaming, get out, get out. And I didn't know what to do. In my mind, I'm first of all scared for the safety of everyone involved. This is a really horrible moment. And I'm also thinking, I told this bitch not to lie. So things are a mess. I'm trying to de-escalate the situation. I'm trying to say basically like, you're right, she was wrong. Like, please just leave. Like everything was wrong in the situation. Like, please just leave. Like it's, it's over, just leave. Like I didn't know what to say except can you please just leave? It was a lot. But what ended up happening is that the other roommate called the cops. The cops came, but he was gone before they came. He left once he realized the cops were coming. And it was just the whole situation that could have been avoided with a little bit of intelligence, a little bit of foresight, and a little bit of honesty. I know a lot of people, a lot of trans girls specifically, that are very into doing that. And um, it's, it's wrong. 
All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time as well as, you know, just the message of the video. And um, please subscribe to this channel. I know this is the third, fourth, fifth video you watched. Just subscribe. Just do it. I'll wait. I'll wait all day. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I do post daily. So if you're not following there, you're missing out on a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.